for staying on security, this time in the southwest. Three construction workers kidnapped in Akoko area of Ondo State have regained their freedom after days in captivity. This is coming after residents of the state asked authorities to beef up security in border communities in Akoko axis of the state. Correspondent Ayode Jimoradio reports. The three workers were taken away last Tuesday while working at a construction site in Akuno Akoko and in Karamakoko areas of the state. They were freed after four days in the hands of the abductors. Spokesman of the state police command, however, said the victims were rescued. It is true that three construction workers of uh, one particular company uh, were kidnapped some weeks back. But the fortunate thing is that uh, our synergy, the police synergy with all other security agencies in the, in the state, have made it possible for us to rescue them. Right now, they are with their families. The command identified boundary communities as some of the areas where kidnapping is thriving. The Commissioner of Police is mindful of these and is taking of the way forward. Working together with uh, other security agencies like the military, the civil defense, and the DSS, because we have the belief that it is the same group, because that group kidnapped. After our border to, uh, to Kogi, they kidnapped a family about two weeks ago. It's the same group, and uh, we are working on how to make sure that uh, we arrest that group and bring them to order. But some analysts believe that government needs to be more proactive in tackling rising cases of kidnapping. It's unfortunate that um, we find ourselves in the level we are today, particularly when we look at the issue of insecurity. And the question now goes to the security agencies. This cut across most of our borders now. You have uh, narcotics, you have DSS, you have police, you have immigration, all of them there. But one wonders why the level of porosity and that we are experiencing, killing, kidnapping, a lot of things happening and also many other things and other. It boils down to one thing specifically. One, um, it's obvious that our security men are not well much advised that is, the security agencies should up their games and collaborate effectively with the Amotekun security network because the Amotekun, as given to us by the state government, by the governors of the southwest, these are the locals that live in this place and understand the environment mostly than other security agencies. So we have to commend the state government on that. And another thing is that there are other vices of combating crimes. As the kidnap consortium workers go for medical checkup, okay. residents want better synergy among security agencies. Ayodeji Moradeo, TVC News.